Hey, um, something very unusual has happened. I got an email um, asking me to comment on some thematic lists, um, which, okay, uh, I may not be the best to do that, but I can certainly comment on how to try and balance list or make stuff better. Um, so, so Jack, um, I'm sorry if, if this is not the advice you're looking for uh, with your lists, but uh, this is the advice I can give. Um, so let's all go and watch him. Uh, Jack, Jack basically wants to, to build two lists and he wants them to sort of balance out. Um, and and he wants some advice on how to make them better. And, and we're going to try and do that. If you all have any advice for Jack, go write it in the comments as well. Right. So I will start with the lists. And this is the first one. This is the US Airborne Market Garden list. Uh, by the way, both of them are actually designed for playing like Market Garden themed games. Uh, so the other one is a late war German list. Um, both of them are a thousand points. This has 14 order dice. Um, so 14 order dice is competitively good. Um, and bringing a, an inexperienced second lieutenant is also competitively good. So I feel like we're already seeing some competitive things from this airborne list. Pathfinders, um, these are okay. Um, and you can, can take some machine guns with the unit. Um, they have the exceptional training special rule, but they're not massively useful. I think um, you could just go with regular pairs uh, for Americans and, and do just as well. Um, they're, they're, they're six veterans, right, at 96 points, so not massively useful. Um, free British Artillery Observer, because you can take that with a Market Garden one, and, and you should. Um, because it's really, really good. Veteran paratroopers, these are the units that I think are worth it. Um, however, uh, you're buying a lot of submachine guns, um, and I don't think that is actually needed. The unit size, six, eight man, eight man units, they're, for me, they're a little too big. So what I would do instead, I would make them veteran, cut them down to six-man units, cut out all the submachine guns, and just use rifles. Because you're American, you get the move and shoot uh, special rule. Um, you don't need the submachine guns. Um, especially because you're starting in your deployment zone. You, you're going to need to, to shoot at the enemy from further away, basically. Keep the BAR, um, and then you'll have good skirmish units, which is what Americans do best. These are push units, which mm, Americans are not really good at that. Um, so, so actually, this unit down here, it, it's more to my liking. Um, Dutch resistance, always nice with local knowledge, and you can model them based on the movies, right? Like a, a bridge too far movie. A light mortar team, double them, lovely. They need to be veteran, which sucks a little bit, because 46 points is expensive for a light mortar. A bazooka team, you're going to need one of those. Anti-tank guns, don't take those, ever. Don't ever buy it, it's not worth it. The bazooka is all the anti-tank you need. Uh, a medium howitzer is way better, way better. So that's a waste of points. I would rather use that on infantry, uh, basically. And a jeep. The only thing I think could improve this list is if you could find the points to put in some sort of armored car or maybe even a chaffy. Um, I know it's not very like dropping in behind uh, enemy lines, but I mean, the Brits had Tetrax, didn't they? So um, something. Some sort of armor is the only thing I think is lacking a little bit, and I think you should change the infantry out. I, I'm the push units for Americans is just not my thing, um, but it is competitively okay. This list, um, I mean, you've got the pathfinders to push forward, you've got the paratroopers to push forward. I just feel like the um, the skirmish paratroopers are just better, basically. 
just better. Right, what are we going to put up against this? Late war Germans. Ele Ooh. Eleven order dice. A thousand points. Wacht am Rhein. Um, eleven order dice is low. We're going to see if we can scrouch up some, a few more. Otherwise, if you're putting these two lists together, the German player will struggle most of the time and be behind on order dice. And it is going to hurt. Second lieutenant, regular, might actually give him an extra man just because the free assault rifle is good. Hair grenadiers, light machine guns, cut out the light machine guns. Um, they're not worth it. Um, six men rifles, perfectly fine. Uh, you could even give them Panzerfaust um, because they're late war. Waffen SS squad. If you're buying a Waffen SS unit, why not buy the Waffen SS Lieutenant, the cheap one, for 30 points? Four, Panzerf four Panzerfausts? Not worth it. That's too much. Two at most. Assault rifles is okay, um, but uh, that's a lot of points you're sinking into these units. A lot of points that could be spent on something else. 146 points. I can get eight Gurkhas for cheaper than that. And they are way more effectful. Um, I don't think these are worth it. Uh, they are thematic, but I don't think they're worth it. Cut out the Panzerfaust. Cut the Panzerfaust down to two, at least. Cut the units down to six men, as well. Um, so they're like this one down here, just with two Panzerfausts. And then two of them can go in a truck, together. Or change one of them out to an engineer unit with a flamethrower. Way more effectful. Medium mortar, inexperienced, lovely. Sniper team, lovely. Flamethrower, regular, lovely. Nebelwerfer, yes. Panzerfall, ouch. That is where the points are being spent. Um, the heavy panzers are not worth it. Um, never, ever worth it. Unless you're playing in a very specific pack where they get some sort of bonus or discount. Um, so this I would absolutely cut out. Um, maybe get yourself an armored car instead, like a 250 slash 9. Very good armored car, can do most of the work, and can actually do all the work you need to fight against the airborne list as well. Um, and a truck, 12 man capacity, but look. You have 12 man capacity on the truck. Look what you did with your Waffen SS. You have seven men in one unit and you have six in the other, so they can't both be in it. Um, this is why I think you should change out one of these Waffen SS units with a, um, an engineer unit and then uh, cut down on the Panzerfaust for the other unit. Giving these one Panzerfaust each as well, cutting maybe cutting a man from each of them. And uh, the points, you could easily buy uh, an LMG team. Um, those are good. That's 35 points for a regular LMG team. That works. Um, does the truck need an MMG and regular? No, I don't think it does. So you could save a few points making this inexperienced and cutting out the pinnacle mounted MMG again, finding points for extra infantry because this this list needs more infantry um, or infantry heavy stuff, right? Uh, it needs one more unit of infantry at least, and then it needs to change out the units of infantry that it does have. By the way, the LMG team does what this LMG does cheaper and better. 35 points for an LMG that can sit in your back line, which is all that this is going to do most of the games anyway. Just just way better. So, and if you want, if you want it to be thematic, you can always say, well, it's the LMG team from the Grenadiers that's been detached sitting here shooting, which is what they did in real life. Right. Jack, thank you so much for the lists. I hope you could use my feedback here. Um, good luck with them. Cheers.